In one of my Firebird stealth play videos, I said that the radar in 3.23 is still equalized, which is wrong. So in this video, let's take a look at how exactly ship radar works in 3.23 in terms of their detection range. And after the Firebird is reborn in the 3.23.1a patch, I will do another stealth play video with this bird. And if you don't know this, here is the news. The Firebird, its missiles will be increased from 12 to 24. The size will remain size 3. And her stealth reduction will be increased from 20% to 40%. But too bad I couldn't test this Firebird today because the PTU build failed. So let's see if we can get in tomorrow. All right, now let's get back to today's topic. Before I begin, I want to thank viewer The Doctrine, as well as many other viewers that commented and corrected me on my Firebird Stealth Play video. And the viewer The Doctrine actually has a website. In there, you can find written details on how the radar work. And I will put his link in the description of this video. So in terms of radar detection, there are two ways for detecting ships. One is active radar, one is passive radar. The active radar is basically when you ping, and the passive radar is when you do not ping, but slowly approach your target, and then your target will appear on your scope. So in this video, we're going to be mostly consider the passive radar detection. And the formula for this detection is very simple. E equals MC squared. Hold up, wait a second. E equals mc squared. Um, da, da, da. All right, sorry, it's a wrong formula. Here is a correct one. So let's say we give the letter E to maximum detection range, which is the value we want in detecting your target ship. And next value is the highest emission of your signature, whether it's IR, cross section, or EM. And we're gonna give the letter M to this value. And then we're gonna give the letter C to the third value, which is radar sensitivity. And different radars have different sensitivity, which I will explain in detail later in this video. So the formula is simple, but where is a square come from? There are also two factors, at least two major factors that will affect your maximum detail detection range. Number one is the angle that you're facing your target. For example, at a zero degree angle, when you face your target nose to nose, the cross section of your target ship is minimal. So the highest emission value is one of these two, either IR or EM. But if your target is facing you at a 90 degree angle, whether you're facing from the top of the ship or from the bottom of his ship, his or her cross-section value will increase drastically. If it passes the IR or EM value, then the cross-section value will be the highest emission value. But for some small ships, especially like the snub fighters, even at a 90 degree angle, the cross-section value is still lower than the IR or the EM. In that case, the highest emission value will not change. So you can see the highest emission value is actually dynamic and thus the maximum detection range. So this is factor number one, the angle that you're facing your target ship may or may not affect the maximum detection range. The second major factor that will affect your maximum detection range is the ambience, or you can call it background noise. And this is actually an advantage in masking your ship's signature, but disadvantage if you want to detect enemy signatures. And for this one, I have to explain to you on the ship. As you can see, the signatures are over here, IR, cross-section, and EM. So many of you asked me in my previous video how to bring out these signatures. So first of all, go to options and game setting. Just scroll all the way down, all the way down and one, two, three, four. Force to the last, this option, emission, HUD, display signature values, bring it to yes, that's it. And you will see your emission signature on the left side. Now you can see this is my Firebird, the IR is 3821 cross section well this value actually we, we can't really count for anything it really depends on the angle the enemy is facing you and my em is uh, 3120 something is going down a little bit also you can see there is a slash you have this number on the right hand side of the slash so this is your ambient your environment background noise signature right now i am in space 
So it's all zero. And now let's go to an asteroid field. Wow, the view is amazing. So I guess the asteroid field does not affect my ambient noise as well. You can see all my ambient noise right now is all zero. Oh, there we go. Now I'm jumping into an atmosphere. This is yellow. So now you can see my ambient noise for my IR is slowly increasing. 144 as I go lower to the ground. 148. So I guess this moon is emitting heat because IR is heat. Man, this firebird is so fun and I can't wait for the missile to change from 12 to 24. Ready? Fire! Contact. Enemy down! <laughs> oh! No, the ship is now destroyed! But the pilot is dead! Wow, my missile killed this pilot! Okay, I don't have any shields. I didn't even put a shield generator for the ship. So I cannot engage. I still have six more missiles. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for 24 missiles for this little bird. Oh, now you can see. I just... I just arrived on Daymar, and you can see my ambient noise, my IR is going up from 800 all the way to over 1000 as I get close to the ground. This is uh, much higher than on Yella. Yella, I think the moon is, uh, is icy moon. Daymar is a lot hotter, so the IR is higher, almost to 2000. So if you're fighting a atmospheric battle on Daymar, your IR signature is masked a lot. Now the question is, how do we take the ambient noise into account, into this formula? It's very simple. For example, if your highest signature is IR, which is 3000, and your radar sensitivity is 0 0.8, then your maximum detection range is now 2400 meters. However, you also have an ambient noise value under your IR column, which is 1000. So what do you do now is simply subtract the ambient noise value. 2400 minus 1000 leave you with 1400 meters. So now the detection range for that target ship or for you is 1400 meters. All right, now the question is, what is the radar sensitivity? It is also very simple. So for all the ships that are currently in game, we have three types of radars varied by their size. So size zero, size one, and size two. Among these three, size two are the most sensitive and its sensitivity is at 90%. So 0 0.9 for all three signatures, IR, EM, and cross section. Size one radar is a little bit less sensitive. It's 80%, so 0 0.8 for all three signatures. And size zero radar is a least sensitive. For IR and EM signature, the sensitivity is at 70 25% and for cross-section the sensitivity is at 50% and now the last question for this video is what ship has what size of radar so here is a complete list for 3.23 this might change but as of right now this is what I found out so for size 0 radars it is for almost all the ground vehicles and some of the snuff fighters. And this is a list. Ballista, Centurion, Spartan, Nox, Hoverquad, Dragonfly, Mew, PTV, Rock, Rock DS, STV, Pulse, Pulse LX, and all Origin X1 variant. The Lynx, the Ursa Rover, and the MRSA, the Medical Ursa. And all the Cyclone variant except the Cyclone MT. The Cyclone MT has three size 1 radars. I am surprised. Size 0 radar also includes the Nova tanks, the Storm tanks, the Merlins, and the Archimedes, but not the Furies. 
because all the Fury variants have size 1 radars. And as for size 2 radars, they are mostly for heavier ships, bigger ships, heavy gun ships. So the list of ships that has size 2 radars are as follows. The Redeemer, Retaliator, Vanguard Harbinger, Hoplite, Sentinel, and Warden. The Carrick, Hurricane, the Mo, A1, A2, Inferno, Ion, C1, C2, M2, MSR, Caterpillar, Crosshair, all the Cutlasses, black, blue, red, and silver, I mean steel. Surprisingly, the Cutter Scout made it to the size 2 radar list. That's the only Cutter that has size 2 radar. And the Prowler, the Freelancer, all the Freelancers, UR, Max, and I'm an S. And the Halsey, the Starfarer and Starfarer Gemini, the 600i and 600i Touring, but no 890 Jump. 890 Jump has 5 size 1 radars. The Kangni, all the Kangni variant have size 2 radars. And also the Polaris as well has size 2 radars. And whatever ship that's not in the size 0 and size 2 list that is currently flyable in game, they all have size 1 radars. So together, this is a complete list of all the flyable ships that is in game that has 0 or 1 or size 2 radars. That that's it, and stay tuned for my next stealth video. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.